Hey gang, Diana here today. Thanks for stopping by the studio. I'm going to be demonstrating some uh, hot foiling techniques with ThermoWeb product. ThermoWeb actually uh, contacted me a few weeks back and asked me if I would like some product and uh, I love their products, so yes. And I had seen Gina Kay's new products which I'm um, showing now. These are sheets of paper that are printed with toner so that you c they can be easily foiled with either a laminator or if you have a, a mink machine. Uh, I'll link do down below uh, some specifics about that. This is this new watercolor um, foil that they have out. It's just gorgeous. I had actually purchased some of this and uh, because I just couldn't resist it. Gorgeous stuff. It, all swirly there and I'm putting it, sandwiching that in between. Uh, you can use a piece of um, paper or uh, they, a little bit of freeze uh, wrap of some kind. Just printer paper. Use printer paper. Uh, then you can see how beautiful that is. And that is what's left over. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could get a piece of black toner paper and foil that. Now I have, I sort of saw some little edges. So I brushed it with a sort of stiff brush and then used a, a Swiffer. Now this is the Rebecca Meyer line and these colors I was nuts over too. Gina K's are gorgeous and she actually has some that are all coordinated with her stamp pads and cardstock. Uh, so you can see how pretty they are really. Look at that. So pretty. I'm looking forward to trying those out uh, some more. Now these, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make these available so that you can print out these flowers. And this is the, I think it's called Antique Gold. Wow, it blew my mind, I have to tell you. I love this foiling and uh, to begin with. And I had printed out a bunch of these flowers I had drawn and did some, uh, printed them out using the toner paper, which you really have to use the toner paper. So this is uh, coming uh, look at, oh yeah, I see. I'm going to do some two color foiling here and then I've got a piece going in with that very fun sequin foil. Uh, that's both from Gina K. That sequin foil is super fun and now I'm going to open the little packages, I think. I don't know, what am I going to do next? Yep, opening packages. Okay, that was Look at this though. I mean to tell you, I think that was the patina and it has all these different colors in it. Oh, that's right. It was super hot in my studio that day. There's the sequin and some green. That's the jelly bean green, I think. I don't know why I'm hot foiling on such a hot day, but um, that was New Penny. And this is that antique gold, which is like driving me insane. It's so beautiful. And then this is uh, that sequin again on the striped paper. Really super fun. I'm going to put a card together at some point using these, but I did want to just talk to you about this process. And if you have any kind of laminator, um, I think the scotch works really well. And the, uh, I forget what it's called, that ThermaWeb tests, it on, tests their products on royal something or other. I'll link it down below. It's uh, supposed to be a good one. Um, I like the two tones. They were really fun to do. And these are just cute little journal cards or little cards. Uh, I'll have them as a download. Uh, that's if your foil misses. That's a little sand eraser. So that's it for me today. Quick little video just showing this technique. I pop by my blog and get the download and I'll see you soon. Thumbs up, comment. Thanks for coming by.